Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Ranky Me, a video of a game I have been waiting for for a very long time, and a game that a lot of people haven't even heard of and they don't know anything about. The game is Naval Action, the game is about uh, Age of Sail ships, and in the future when it's completed the idea is to have um, a huge sandbox multiplayer game in the same way that maybe Elite, Online, Elite Dangerous is going to do with the Galaxy in the same way that EVE Online is making a huge sandbox map for people to enjoy but with instead of ships, um, space ships with actual ships of the um, 18th century. Now you have to keep in mind that this is in very alpha. I mean the game is literally opened for alpha testing uh, today. Uh, the mm, people who have pre-ordered the game, um, ha well, they have released, uh, they have received the key to, well, and install the game and to play it. Uh, you are going to find all the links to the website of Naval Action, so you can take a look if you want and find more about it. Of course, I will explain more things about this game uh, as time goes by uh, but this gameplay was recorded live and I didn't explain a lot about the game itself so that's why I'm putting this intro I really hope you enjoy this uh, I simply think this game is brilliant even in very early alpha I mean of course it's alpha it has some issues here and there but overall, overall the feel is is just <laughs> I, I simply have no words you're going to watch it anyway, so you'll see what I what I mean. If you like um, sail ships and ships of the well, of the eights of sail, you're going to love this game. So well, sit down, take a look, and enjoy. Well, it's kind of sad that it's a two v one, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And uh, well, I mean. This is my third game in, in Naval Action in PvP uh, So actually I don't have a lot of a lot of experience in it So well at least it's not going to be hugely complicated to be one Anyway let's see how we do First I'm going to deploy all the sails and I'm going to move um, towards him, and I'm going to try the wind uh, gates. Yeah, I'm here. I'm going for you. <laughs> okay, if you if you look down uh, to the right side, you will see um, six, six, seven, eight says sailing gunnery uh, survival. That's the crew focus. Right now, I have in sailing, so I'm faster and I'm maneuvering better. Gunnery improves the slightly the reload of your gun. Survival is really important for the moment uh, when you well, are about to sink. Uh, I have also ordered to load double shot on the left guns. You have only four guns per side in this ship. Uh, double shot is much more powerful but has much less range. So I will try to move very close to him throw uh, maybe a right broadside and then cut with the left and try to do a double broadside, broadside basically uh, first from the right and then at closer range from the left ok those are the shots from my ally which has been left behind ok there we go take aim the longer you take aim the more accurate your shots will be as you can see by the way the Aiming thing goes okay. Ranging shot, ranging shot that one hit, so the rest go there. We have hit each other. This is very close range, so to be expected. And I have the wind gates, so I'm going to try to hold it. I'm going to turn close to the other side and try to use. this to for a wrecking so the problem is that he's moving away I don't know if I'm going to be able to to hit him sort but I can't nah yeah very short both the ranging and the broadside so I'm going to turn around
and I'm going to follow him. So the wind, if you look down to the left, you will see a compass and the arrow is where the wind is coming from. So I want to put myself uh, before the wind, I mean between the wind and him, to have the weather gates. It's very important because that way I can control when I want to close in and when I don't. Meanwhile, he, if he wants to come close to me, he has to go against the wind. Okay, we are closing this position. Guns set for an accurate shot. Full broadside, I think I'm going to hit with all of them at this range. Yes, I did. And now, what I don't want him is to put behind him, behind me. I don't think it's going to happen because he would have to tackle against the wind, but you never know. Okay, he shot at me, didn't doing some damage. But it's okay because we have our broadside almost ready. This side is a standard shot, not as damaging as double shot. I could change for double shot, but I don't want to lose one of my broadsides with range. I'm going to keep one with double, the other one with normal. Okay, we have him boxed in into into positions, perfect. Going to be straddle from both sides, and we are almost reloaded. So, ranging shot on target, all the rest on target. Okay, I'm going to cut behind him. This will give him the weather gates for a second, but I want to use this uh, double shots I have in the left side. So. Ooh, and he's giving me his ass. So there you go, raking shot on the behind. Let's double back. Let's double back. He's starting right. He's dropping um, sail, so he wants me to crash against him. But well, he also wants to put that on my nose. But <laughs> now we are going to cross his his back, and we are going to get another rake. Let's see if we can hit the rudder. Okay, we have it, we have it, we have it, there we go. Yeah, that did hurt quite a little bit. He's down to 30 crew crew from 40, which is a starting crew for for this um, class of ship. He's aching, he has the rear damaged, probably, probably the rudder is damaged as well. With two rakes, usually the rudder goes down. Okay. Now let's follow him and decide which side do we sow to suit him. Ooh, there's going to be a cross there. There's go ooh, there's yeah, there was a cross there. <laughs> okay, that was cool. Okay, my ally has lost the bow sprit, which is extremely, extremely bad because if you, as you can see most of my uh, the rig of this ship well, most no, not most, but a lot of it is is mounted on the bow sprit. So my guess is that he's going to be pretty slow. And I think the other guy knows it because he's running like hell. So I think it's time to chase a little bit. Yeah, he's almost dead on the water. That's pretty bad. Okay, so... If I was him, what I would do now is to put distance between the other guy who has the boss fleet damaged and uh, him. And then engage me 1v1. It's his best bet, at least. But of course I have to follow. And let's face it, I don't care about 1v1. I'm okay with that. Okay, he's used at least one repair because, as you can see, he's in the top right. His armor is uh, much looks much better than the last time we took a look at it. So he has used one of the three repairs he had. 
which favors me, of course. I haven't used any yet. Okay, let's put a shot. Okay, hit. Let's fire the other three. Oh, seems that they went long. Let's turn. Okay, he's shooting at me. Gonna hit, but that's going to happen. He's shooting his guns one by one. I usually fire one and then the full broadside. If I have the range, of course. If I don't, that's a whole different issue. Okay, I'm going to go full sail and try to tack against the wind to follow his move. Too far, a little bit too close, but a couple of hits there. Okay, we are attacking against the wind. We have enough speed to go against the wind, go past the point where the wind is blowing towards us, and so we won't be on iron so or stopped against the wind, which obviously is something you don't want because if you are stopped against the wind, you are in serious, serious, serious trouble. Okay. He's firing again. I have my guns almost ready, but not yet. Okay, let's take aim. Firing shot. Ranking shot, sorry. And full broadside, yeah. Lots of hits. Now let's follow him. Because he's again trying to put distance between us. Now he's cutting to fire on our bows, I think. Yep, so I'm going to keep the turn a little bit. Oh no, he's doubling back. Okay, this is going to be give me a very nice breaking shot. Well, not pure breaking, but it's pretty damaging if I can hit him. Yeah, both hits. I fired two ranging shots to be sure that the rest would hit. Now let's... I was planning to counter and try to sleep behind him, but that would hit him the weather couch. And I don't want him to do another attack. So I'm going to keep on this direction. He's almost on irons anyway, so he's very close to the wind. We have almost our broadside, okay, that's a hit, full broadside, all hits. As you can see, I'm dropping sails to slow down a bit. I don't want him to cross in front of me, I don't want him to move, and I don't want to give him room to maneuver, so I want to stay here and keep this position, more or less. We are very close, but I have double shot in this side, so I'm going to do a lot of damage. As you can see, his armor on, on the right side is very limited. Okay, he has a super set me. That's fine, because now we can double back. No. Yes, okay, now we have to move past him again. That's it, that's it. Deploy a little bit of sail. Correct to the other side to not give uh, him our ass which we did somehow, but open fire ok, he has no armor in the right side I'm very low on armor however, so I'm going to plop my first repair now once the armor is gone you are going to mess the other ship really badly because, ok, you, got, you, you can have holes in the in the hull and sink even when, with you, when you have armor on, but when you don't the, the, the holes are everywhere Okay, let's change for double shot also in the right battery. I'm reloading it, so I don't want to repeat the scissors <laughs> we did before. I'm going to keep station here. He can't turn towards my rear because that would put him against the wind. If he turns the other way, I just have to follow his move. So I'm in a perfect position right now. I don't want to move either way. want to see what he's done and he's turning left. 
which is what I was expecting more or less because he wouldn't go against the wind no matter and this is his weakest side which is what I want to exploit and I have double shot he has used more repairs but look at that I mean he's, he's totally wasted that side is, is destroyed but he's, he's doing a really really good deal I mean I have to be on my toes here to anticipate every move he can do and to prevent him from doing so of course that's because mostly I'm holding the, the weather gates all the time so I, I have an easier time doing it than what he will okay I think that here what we are going to probably end up doing is a repeat of the previous move so you can see I, I, I'm not going as fast as him I have some sails for red while he's going at full sails that's because I want him to move a little bit forward now I have a shot without turning there you go yeah and there, there we have it another set of scissors okay let's turn so we don't give him our ass plop another repair the final one and now it's time to Ah, he's totally messed up right now both sides almost gone yeah I think this is it I think this is it he's yeah he's settling on the water he obviously has some some inroads of water hold on what's this he's trying to I think he's trying to board me, but no, I just uh, put sails again to go away. I mean, I, I'm at 40 crew, he's at 22, I would probably win that, but I'm not giving him the chance. Okay. Yeah, another shot. And that should be it, to be honest. Uh, he's settling on the, on the water, he's going to go down pretty quickly okay let's reload and if we need to throw another broadside to him yeah, as you can see he's settling slowly slowly on the water and that's it that's game GG really well played on his part I mean it was a 2v1 I'm really happy <laughs> I mean, third game, and yeah, I didn't do this bad, any bad at all. Oh, actually, I did very well. So, yeah, I mean, GG, uh, congratulations for him, because he was a 2v1, two, two and he held his, his own really, really, really well. So, yeah, victory. Well, as you can see, the, the battle result screen is not... <laughs> the most amazing thing ever, because of course, again, this is alpha, uh, the menus are very simple, they are simply there to set up battles and to check out the results, nothing fancy. And what matters is the gameplay and the oh, the gameplay is fantastic. Uh, okay, the sounds, the, the, the graphics, the feeling of the ships, the, the, the fact that they behave like real ships moving because the wind is uh, pushing them and making them move. This this is a dream come true for anyone who likes uh, Age of Sail ships, and I do. So, <laughs> amazing game, amazing game. It's 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 just fantastic. So really, if you have the chance, uh, get right out. Uh, it's it's um, pre-order for 40 bucks, something like that. And uh, even if if you don't. Um, want to pay for that right now well at least keep an eye on it um, and uh, well in the future you might want to check it out anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this gameplay I hope you enjoyed this game because there's definitely going to be more of this in this channel in the future as always uh, thank you very much for watching and see you later